is the battle, and this one promises to be an all-out war for the Tag Team Championships. It is a street fight. No disqualification. Anything goes. The eight Sixers take on the Bonus Boys, and we are guaranteed new Tag Team Champions. At the end of this contest, which is starting hot and heavy, The Bonus Boys and the 8 Sixers are going to leave it all in the ring tonight. And you know what? They're going to the outside of the ring. The 8 Sixers, it looks like, with the early advantage on the outside. Remy the Gent, not in a good spot. Jack the Reaper, though, looks to have the advantage on the other side of the ring. This match is right up my alley as they have gone right into the fans. They are in the front row as Remy's just pounding away. Inside the guardrails, Jack the Reaper. Living up to his moniker, trying to choke the life from one half of the bonus boys. Harder to the steel he goes. And a violent shot. Pilot slam right on the chairs. Sam's Town has turned into a war zone for the tag team titles. Are we about to see a Las Vegas concession stand brawl? I hope. Well, two of the competitors have made it close back to the ring. Fighting on our entrance ramp. No way. Is he going to send him crowd surfing? Oh, my God. Into the crowd he goes. A deftifying, deftifying maneuver. The bonus boys want the gold. The bonus boys will put everything at stake to walk out with the championship. We saw the way they smashed the glass on the head of Remy just a few short weeks ago. We have been here a long time, Jake, but the crowd is now on its feet, and these guys are pulling out all the stops. The bonus boys, the 86ers, the whirlwind gentlemen, whatever you want to call them. These guys have been in Oregon. They've wrestled in North Dakota. These guys know each other better than they know their family. And tonight, the first time, the titles are on the line in a street fight. And they're going to do, obviously, whatever it takes to become champions. And again, by the way, the Reno Scum have never lost their belt, so we still don't know what's going on with that situation. Yeah, well, I don't think either of those teams are worried about the Reno Scum right now. The way they have just been putting everything on the line in the early... Oh, as this match progresses, it's just going to get more violent and violent. And as you can see, the shopping cart with all the weapons. Yeah. 
He is going to run all the way across. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? A full sprint. These guys sure love that new ramp. Yeah. Using his gigantic frame to take out both of the eight, eight sixers. Jack the Reaper, Jack Manley, he, he might be unconscious on the floor. And even Clutch is a little groggy from that one up. Oh, here comes the shopping cart. Wow. That oh, look at this. Clutch is choking Remy Marcel around the throat. Just using the steel to choke the life out of him. I'm glad this is the main event, Jake. I wouldn't really want anybody to follow this match. No. You know what? And there's, guar there's guaranteed to be an and injury I, coming out of this match. And I know where you're from, Jake, so I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of these type of matches, and it probably never gets old. Oh, I, I'm a sick man. I love this stuff. I said that earlier in the ladder match. I absolutely adore this style of wrestling, the ultraviolence, as the bonus boys set up the table on the outside. And it's like they strategically have planned this match out with the ramp and the, and the uh, bat. The fans, though, chanting for the 86ers as you the know, custom gold weapons and the bonus boys. I hope Walmart doesn't have the alarm on the, uh, the shopping cart. It looks like a cinder block, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, that one, of course, is a painted gold. I don't really know what you were insinuating with the uh, Walmart al alarm, but okay. What are you, you know, saying about the bonus Usually boys? you can't bring the grocery cart more than 100 feet away from Walmart. Oh, right to the guts with that baseball bat. And right now the bonus boys, they are punishing Jack and Remy, and they have come here with all the weapons, and they got a cinder block in the grocery cart. Obviously, Clutch didn't head over to Smith's to pick up any of these groceries. I am not accustomed to your West Coast local grocery stores, but I'll assume. Oh no, more glass! Last time it was Remy, this time it's Jack. And these guys, the war between these men has reached the boiling point. And he oh, just crossed them with that sign. That's right, the sidewalk's closed, use the other side. And it's funny, the bonus boys are in there deciding which weapon to use on their opponents. And the good old boot is working just as well as anything else. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what Hackenschmidt had in mind in the early days of this great sport. The sport of kings has turned into a violent situation at the moment. And the big right hand. What are they gonna do with that chair? He's going Necro style. <laughs> the slam with the chair made famous by the legendary Necro Butcher. And look at this, Sugar Brown. Oh! oh! But he completely crashed the bird. Nobody's home. On that mood salt. And this is the opening that the 86ers need. These outlaw gentlemen got to use advantage of the rules to try and win this matchup now. Oh, and look at that, a chair. That'll stop you in the track, right in your tracks, a chair right to the head. And now this is where the 86ers got to take advantage of all the weapons, all the plunder around ringside to try and put away the bonus boys and walk out of here and as the tag team champions once again. Remy's heading into the garbage. He's got great aim. A that little, is Terry Funk throwing a chair in the ring, level aim. That was like a little insult to injury. It didn't hurt a lot, but it just hurt enough. Well, you know what? His body is dented into that garbage can. You can see it. There's some more injury for you. And look at that, Jack driving the butt of the top of the chair. <laughs> and he broke a crutch across the body. And he's looking to break a chair across his body. 
He's got, that's got to be his goal at this point. You know, on the replay, we may have to have two different angles going with all the action on the outside and in. Remy Marcel locking in his target. Roaring crosswalk sign shot. And Remy Marcel with a variation of an acid drop right onto the chair. I forgot, I, I'm watching the match and I'm forgetting that it's about a pinfall here. And I'm yeah. like, What's, why is the ref counting? I forgot. I mean, he's dunsing them. I was gonna say the dunce cap on clutch. I'm pretty sure that would be bullying in 2017 and that goes beyond bullying. That was vicious. But think about it, hitting a man with a baseball bat, if, not, if that's not gonna put him away, what will? And you could hear the dueling chants as the bonus boys. Yeah, it seems pretty split between the bonus boys and 86ers. And look at that, Sugar Brown gets pitched right back into the ring. What, uh, what do they have planned next for Sugar Brown? What? Oh my! Almost like a catapulting him right into that stunner. Yeah, that one definitely looked a little dangerous. A double team slice bread, and now they're setting up the garbage can. They're trapping him inside of it. Innovative offense. Yes. Uh, an arm drag into the trash can. He's risking his own body for these tag team titles. This is just a match of plunder, which of course makes the fans very happy. It makes me happy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just curious what they're gonna try to do with that cinder block that's right in front of us. We'll see. What, what are they gonna do? And what are they pulling? Out? Are they going to tape him to the chair? And right now, Remy pulling out the duct tape. You know, some sick individuals here. Is this sick Sam's or is it determined? Live. I've seen this kind of stuff on, inves on Investigation Discovery. And in front of us, I am a little bit of scared of Jack the Reaper and what he's reaching for. Is that lighter fluid? I can't see the way it is. Chance. I don't know if the camera at all has caught it yet. And he's got matches, not wrestling matches. Yes. This has gone beyond wrestling and it looks like we're about to enter the torture phase of the evening. And right now, Jack Manley has lighter fluid in matches. <clears throat> I'm a little uh, worried the, about what's about to happen what, next. What the hell is going through their mind? We realized that this, that this crossed the line a long time ago when the glass was brought in to this rivalry, but we're gonna have fire enter the equation and right now I see Remy with a plastic bag. What is this? It's not much safer. Is Remy trying to talk him out of it? Well, one of them wants to set the man on fire. The other just wants to suffocate him. That is not a pleasurable suffocation like autoerotic asphyxiation. That is dangerous. Who the hell is this? Who is this? And right now, there's like a loud hush here inside the 
Samstown line as clutch. Who's in the Skeletor mask? And it looks like it is what? Dino Black. Well, here's Kevin Cross. There's the execution they wanted earlier. You can only execute someone once, guys. No, 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 no. What is like going on? And it looks like we're having a tuxedo match thrown in the middle of this. Gilmore. Gilmore's about to get executed. This, it's hard to believe, but the street fight has broken down, Jake. We didn't see that one coming. Yeah. So why is it Paulie trying to stop this? I know him and Cross buried the hatchet, but. Well, I'm pretty sure he's not too uh, concerned. I don't know what, I mean, I think the most violent thing we've seen in this match. Uh-oh. Hey, I think Gilmore. the most uneasy thing we've seen in this match is Gilmore's pale white flesh. And that's an official county coroner body bag. Those are hard to come by. You have to pay extra for that. Yeah. Is he even going to fit in there? I'm pretty sure there's been deader people that have fit in those. And this match has really broken down. And I guess Kevin Cross has just surpassed heart disease as the number one killer in America. What and is right eight now. miles outside of Las Vegas? Is that like Spring Valley? I guess that's the desert. I, it's where you bury people. Aren't we all in the desert? You know. Is this uncomfortable for anyone else? <laughs> you know, we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming. Oh. Did he rip through it? Is Gilmore that jacked he ripped through a body bag? And right now, I, I can't imagine what this conversation is about. Obviously, Paulie Cover not happy with uh, Gilmore over the last uh, couple of months. And it looks like uh, Remy trying to discard the, uh, the garbage. Is it going to be like uh, WrestleMania where the Undertaker's hat and coat were still in the ring? <laughs> Like four hours later, or is there going to be a picture from someone of Gilmore just dead center of the ring? It, four it hours. could but, be. But look at this. Our regularly scheduled street fight is back in action with the Austin attack there you out go. of the eight sixers. It was like a commercial break with Kevin Cross, Nino Black, and Gilmore. The eight sixers. And we also forgot to tell you the tag team titles are actually still on the line right now. Yeah, no disqualification, anything goes. Choking away in the corner is Jack the Reaper. And right now you can see it looks like the bonus boys, they are beat. These guys, it's been a war here tonight. This is this has got to rank as the most chaotic match in the history of this company. Pounce! Oh man, and he folded him in half. He just wrecked Jack and Remy. Not faring any better. And this could be it if they could pin Remy Marcel. We got new champions. One, two. But that's a lot of heart and guts. The kick out of that added on with everything else he's been through all night and i'm looking over it looks like jack manley is busted open yeah both men have actually been bleeding 
during this match. Both eight sixers have been busted during this match. And you could just see all these guys, they are gassed. They have given it at all. And right now, Jack Manley on the ramp. And Sugar Brown working some body blows. How is Jack Manley coming back from everything he's taken in this contest? And Remy Marcel has got the cinder block. You know, I said this was going to be an all-out war, and it absolutely has. Oh, and look at that. Actually, uh, uh, Jack Manley using the top rope. But look on the other side of the ramp. Look at the other side of the ramp. He gets caught, though. He gets caught by the throat. <laughs> oh, my God. And through the table goes Clutch. The choke slam from Jack Manley. But looking in the ring. Remy's got the cinder block, and Sugar doesn't see it. Oh, no. He just smashed him. And I think at this point, we all realize who now is on the top of the mountain of the tag team division.